OK, let's continue. We can combine conditions in other ways as well. As well as OR, we have a logical operator called AND. AND also takes two other conditions and gives a single true or false output based on what these conditions are. But AND requires both conditions to be true if it's going to provide a value of true. If either of the conditionals provided for the AND are false, then the AND will return false. Processing uses the double ampersand symbol for AND. This can usually be found sitting above the 7 on your keyboard and you can use it by holding down the shift key and pressing 7. From our rainy day example, we only use our umbrella if it's raining AND we're outside. If we're inside, we don't care that it's raining. If we're outside and it's not raining, we don't need an umbrella. AND needs everything to be true if it's going to return true. Going back to our graphics code, what would happen if we said that we only wanted things to be set to red if they were divisible by both 2 and 3? How many red rectangles do you expect to see? Well, the only number between 1 and 10 that's divisible by both 2 and 3 is 6. And this is what we see. The AND operator is more selective than the OR because it requires everything to be true. There are times when we want to define our conditions in terms of what we don't want. Let's say for formatting reasons I'd like to have a blank rectangle space at 5. That means that when i is 5 I don't want a rect command to be executed. Here we can use a logical operator called NOT, which takes a single logical condition and then sets the value to the opposite logical value. So if you apply NOT to something true, you'll get a value of false. Here's the comparison operator checking the value of i against the value 5, but combined with the NOT operator, which in processing is an exclamation mark. That condition says negate the value of the result of checking to see if i is 5, so if i is true, it will return false. Therefore, if i is 5, the overall condition will be false and we will not draw a rectangle. That looks like this. Why are there so many parentheses? Well, you can't just type the exclamation mark in front of another condition in processing because processing's conditions must always start with a parenthesis. Now we've got the ability to combine conditions and return true if any of them are true, the OR. We've got the ability to combine conditions and return true if all of them are true, the AND. And we have the ability to define our choices in terms of what we don't want, the NOT. However we combine all of these, if we are going to have a valid condition, then we will eventually have to get to a single value that is true or false. Let's look at some more complicated examples using graphics. Look at this code for a few moments. How many rectangles do you think are going to be read? We've got the original only draw if it's divisible by 2 and 3, but we've taken that conditional and combined it with another one to see if i is 5. What's the operator? An OR. So if either condition is true, we draw a red rectangle. We would expect to draw a rectangle for both i is 5 and i is 6. Notice that we've had to add extra parentheses around the conditions as we add operators. Processing will remind you about this, but losing track of your parentheses, especially which one maps to which, can lead to problems. OK, one more example, and this one is fairly tricky, so read it through carefully. How many red rectangles are you expecting? Let's break this down to work out what should happen and look at each condition in turn. Numbers divisible by 2. Numbers that are not divisible by 3. Combining these gives us, for the left-hand side, but the right-hand side is, which is every number that's not 5, this is true for, or says we'll draw a red rectangle if one or the other is true, so we will draw red rectangles nine times if we use an or. What about AND? If we change the conditional to then we will only draw a red rectangle when both conditions agree that they should. And that looks like this. Being able to use AND, OR and NOT allows you to create conditions that do exactly what you want. Combining this with iteration, and you're starting to really get a feeling for the power of programming and the range of things that you can do. And now, it's your turn.